Have you ever felt the pressure to win so intensely that it's almost suffocating? Like everything depends on that one moment of victory. I've been there. But what if I told you that the most surprising victories come when you stop focusing on the prize and simply live with the moment? Let me take you back to last year when I entered a national piano competition in Macau. To be honest, I was just a name on the list. I didn't expect much. I mean, the competition was fierce, and the talent pool was so insane. My goal? Survive. So imagine my shock when, after the competition, I checked my score and heard the judge say, Congratulations, you won a gold medal. I stood there, completely stunned. Wait, what? Me? I could barely believe it. To top it off, my teacher received an outstanding teacher award, and seeing her pride made the moment even more surreal. It was a win for both of us, one that I hadn't even seen coming. In today's world, we often dive headfirst into competitions, whether it's music, sports, competitions, uh, academics, or even career paths. The pressure to win and prove ourselves can feel overwhelming. Everyone wants to take home the gold, right? But here's what I learned. Sometimes, the harder you fight for something, the more distant it feels. It's like chasing a butterfly. You can catch it by chasing after it. But if, you stay, but if you sit still, it might just land on your shoulder. Looking back at my journey to that gold medal, it wasn't a competition that defined my success. My teacher saw potential in me that I hadn't even noticed. I spent hours practicing, not just to, the, not just to perfect my technique, but, for the, but to find my voice through music. Yet, when I stood on that stage, all the pressure faded. I wasn't thinking about winning or losing. I was immersed in the music, playing not just for the medal, but for the love of art. And that's when the magic happened. Here's the thing. If, when, you re, when you let go of the need to win, something incredible unfolds. Competing stops being about connecting, collecting trophies and starts being about connecting. Connecting with your audience, your passion, and most importantly, yourself. When you are true to who you are and what you love, the results often follow in ways you never expected. But there's a catch. If all you think about is winning, you miss the point. You risk losing that spark, that authenticity that makes your performance shine. Think of it this way. A performance that is driven, so, that is driven solely by the need to impress becomes hollow. The audience can sense that. But, you, but when you release the but when you play from a place of passion, they feel it too. They resonate with the truth. It's like that old saying, the more you rush, the slower you go. The more you force it, the more you lose success, the, the, the more you, uh, the more you lose success becomes. True mastery comes when you let go of the pressure to win, to prove something to others, and instead embrace the moment. Suddenly, you are not just playing the notes, you are living them. Everything clicks and the universe seems to, to align in your favor. Looking back, my unexpected win wasn't about being the best pianist in the room. It was, it was about connecting, it was about finding my joy in the journey, connecting with my audience, and simply expressing my passion without fear. The gold medal, that was just a bonus. So, as you move forward in your own journeys, remember this. Success isn't always about connect. Success isn't always about being finding the hardest or trying to enjoy the or trying to in, or trying to outshine everyone else. Sometimes serendipity comes when you uh, release the pressure and simply enjoy the ride. If you do that, you might just surprise yourself with what you can achieve. Thank you for listening.